<laughs> All right, fellas, we are now officially Facebook Live. Good morning, good morning, Joseph and Kevin. Good morning. We're so good morning, Haley. Glad to have you on board with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. We'll give everybody just a second to hop on and um, realize that we are live. We'll let somebody pop into the comment section and let us know they can see and hear us and we will get started. I see a few folks joining us this morning, this lovely Thursday morning. I think the sun's going to be out again today, so I'm pretty happy about that. That is a welcome change from the snow. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. we're going to get we're going to get lucky with most of the week with it being like that. That makes me so happy. All right, we got Garrett Griffith hopping on. He says, "Good morning. I can hear and see you." Thanks, Garrett. Awesome. So now we know we're not just going to talk to ourselves. That's good news. All right. So before we get into the conversation with Kevin and Joseph here uh, from McLean, we are going to just wait a second for a few more viewers to realize that we're live. I'll do a couple little introductions here in the beginning, and then we'll talk about the roles that they are hiring for currently. And we hope to get heck. A hundred people to apply to McLean today. So that's the goal here, right? That is it. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. We've got a good little uh, pool of people joining us this morning. So if you've never joined us, um, what we do is we meet with employers each week, every Thursday at 930 a.m., and we really just get an insight to what they do. Um, they're usually in the northern Kentucky region, just like us. And we get a little bit of insight on what their company does and what roles they're hiring for. So today we have McLean and we have Kevin here and Joseph. We're going to talk to them a little bit about the specific roles, the pay rates, the qualifications and things like that as we get into our conversation. Um, I did want to introduce myself if you've never joined us on a Facebook Live. My name's Haley Franklin, and I'm a youth talent development specialist with the Kentucky Career Center. So I work with 16 to 24 year olds. If um, you guys know of any youth that are looking for a position out there, I am uh, your person to talk to. So let me know. And this has been a really cool added perk, these Facebook Lives, to my position. And I'm very uh, honored to meet with employers each week. So this has been pretty cool. Um, if you're just now joining us, like I said, we've got Kevin Joyner here, uh, General Manager at McLean. And we've got Joe Hotel, Human Resources Manager at McLean. So thanks again, fellas, for joining us. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. All right, so now that we've got a few people joining in, I want you guys to kind of give an overview of your company. For somebody that has maybe never even heard of McLean, tell us what you guys do, what you specialize in. Okay, just a quick overview. Uh, McLean is a supply chain solution uh, company. We've been in business since 1894. Uh, we have 80 locations across the country, and we have 20,000 teammates. And more specifically, locally, uh, we specialize in food distribution to quick service restaurants. Awesome. Thank you guys for that quick overview. Uh, before we get deeper into the convo, you guys need to know that if you have questions, we want this to be interactive. So please put them in the comments box and let us know. We'll have a little short question and answer session at the end. So thanks for that overview. Um, what about the positions that you all are currently hiring for? Tell us about that. We're, we're uh, hiring for several positions, Haley. Uh, with CDLA drivers uh, is one of the positions. Warehouse selector. Uh, we're looking for a uh, customer service representative, uh, inventory control cycle counter, as well as a nighttime receiving clerk. Wonderful. 
And we can talk more um, in just a minute about what those positions actually do. But for now, um, give us the pay rates of each of those positions, if you could. Okay. So from a driver standpoint, the average salary for a CDLA driver for us is, is 82000 a year. Uh, our warehouse uh, selectors start out uh, at $20 an hour. We also have a faithful performance program uh, that they participate in as well. Uh, customer service representatives start at $15.50 an hour. The uh, inventory cycle counter starts at $18 an hour. And the nighttime receiving clerk starts at $17 an hour. Those are great rates, um, especially in our northern Kentucky region. You guys are starting out at awesome rates and, you know, it runs the gamut. So if you guys are interested, um, taking notes out there, drivers, you know, start at 82,000, warehouse selector at 20. These are amazing rates. So take advantage and we can even talk about how to apply in just a second. Um, I did want to mention a couple of special requirements outside of the qualification requirements that we'll talk about in just a minute. Um, can you guys let us know just a couple of those special requirements that you're asking of applicants? Sure, Haley. So I just want to add to uh, the driver pay rate that Kevin mentioned uh, that there is a sign on bonus for qualified drivers. So qualified yes. drivers can earn up to five thousand dollars for sign on bonus. OK, what that looks like is, is um, if, if an individual to have food service experience and up to 50,000 miles of experience. And also, he mentioned that the, there is a pay for performance for our teammates, so they can earn a little extra money on top of their hourly salary. Uh, but for the special requirements that we're asking of the applicants, you must be able to pass a drug screen in a background check. Uh, and the qualified drivers, they must have a CDLA, must have a one year experience driving or 50,000 miles. Awesome. I love that you mentioned the sign on bonuses because how great is that? It's amazing. All right. Um, and when we talked um, the other day, you mentioned food service is a plus, but it's not mandatory. Correct. And then, you know, we do have bonuses also for qualified drivers that may have uh, on the road experience and 50,000 miles, but maybe just not uh, the food service. But that, that may look different for every candidate. And that's something right. that we would discuss with them. Awesome. Thanks for outlining that. So the big question today is how to apply. Let us know. Okay. Well, our applicants are going to want to go to www.mcleanco.com. And on that page, they're going to go to careers. They can then click on search for jobs. And they're going to enter Hebron, Kentucky, or known as the Cincinnati division. But if they go to look for Cincinnati, they, that may not appear. So they want to make sure that they look up uh, Hebron, Kentucky. Or at the careers page, they can go to the bottom, and there'll be a little link that says apply now. It'll bring it to the same application process. Wonderful. I did put that in the comment section. If anybody is interested in checking that out right now, um, you can click on it. And um, like Joe said, there's a, a tab there for the careers page. You can also search for Hebrew in Kentucky. Um, are you guys on any of the job boards, any of the sites, um, Indeed or anything like that? Yes, we are on Indeed. You'll find us on Google, should find us on Google search, Facebook. Um, and it may not be the same for all the positions. Uh, but we do, yes, we are on those job boards. Great. Great, great. All right, we've even got a couple questions rolling in. Keep those coming, guys, and we'll get to those at the um, near the end of the video as we round it out. Um, next question is my favorite question. What is a day in the life of an employee like at McLean for the roles that you're hiring for? Kevin, you want to cover that? I do. A day in the life at McLean is, is really all about fulfilling our mission. And our mission statement is uh, to become the world's premier logistics company by providing our customers with reliable service through superior execution of on-time delivery. Every case, just as a customer ordered every time that they order. So when you think about that mission statement and we look at from a driver perspective, 
Uh, we take things like being able to safely operate a tractor trailer and maneuver on customers' lot, being able to deliver product in the proper uh, locations at the restaurant, being able to, you know, operate safely because safety for us is is a big focus point and really be customer focused. You know, from a warehouse standpoint, being able to select cases, being able to uh, move product around the warehouse in a safe and efficient manner, being able to uh, achieve production standards and goals with limited errors. Uh, and then we look out from a customer service representative. It's just really customer focus, uh, being a team player, being able to have good communication skills, uh, and then really taking, you know, 50% of the time you're taking calls, 50% of the time you're doing reporting. So a little bit different uh, focal points from that standpoint, inventory control, uh, doing daily cycle counts, you know, really paying good attention to detail, being problem solver uh, and self-motivated and then nighttime receiving clerk, uh, checking in inbound drivers, uh, detail oriented uh, and really being able to have that customer focus with drivers coming into the facility. So those are some of the things that we really look for when we talk about individuals that can help us achieve our mission. I love that. If you're a team player and safety is a huge priority for you, this is your position. If you love making customers happy, you're safe, this is it. This is for you. All right. So I love your all's mission statement. I think that's super important. I'm so glad that you mentioned it, Kevin, for the viewers that are watching today. Uh, we'll put that in the comment section, too. I think it's it's a great mission statement and embodies um, what a great company you guys have. So it's awesome. All right. So the good stuff, the qualification requirements. Now, I know we mentioned a couple earlier, but um, Joe, if you wanted to go over more in depth on those now, that'd be great. Sure. Absolutely. Our candidates um, are going to have their GED or high school diploma. Uh, I mentioned they are required to pass a drug screen or background check. For hourly positions, our, our teammates are going to be 18. Drivers must be 21. And again, for qualified drivers, they're going to have their CDLA, of course. They're going to have one year experience driving or 50,000 miles. Got it. Um, we talked about, oh, what age do you start hiring at? Uh, for the hourly, it's going to be 18 and drivers are going to be 21. Okay, perfect. All right. Now let's talk about, I know you guys have a big list here of benefits and resources. And I know everybody out there listening is wanting to know. So tell us about that. Absolutely. So we do have benefits available after six days for hourly teammates. Driver benefits start day one. Uh, we do offer medical, dental, vision plans with tier premiums to fit the needs of our teammates. Uh, we do have 401k, so our teammates are eligible to participate okay. after 90 days. Uh, they're automatically enrolled at 3% contribution rate. And of course, they can make, they can indicate what they want. They can increase that um, when they're hired if they want to. Uh, McLean, we do offer tuition reimbursement, and that is up to $3,500 a year for our teammates. Uh, we do offer paid vacation. So after a year, our teammates, we have two weeks. They can earn up to two weeks. Uh, we do offer paid holidays also. There are six paid holidays. And after a year of service, uh, teammates get an additional two. So that's eight paid holidays after one year. Um, we offer direct deposit. Uh, teammates are paid bi-weekly and just again want to talk you just want to mention that the sign-on bonus for our drivers yes. and that there is a pay for performance down the road for our warehouse associates on top of uh, their hourly rate of twenty dollars an hour that's amazing i'm glad you mentioned that again the sign-on bonus is wonderful so thanks for going over that joe um paid holidays direct deposit paid bi-weekly Mental, medical, dental, vision. We talked about all of those wonderful things. Um, before we get into the question and answer session, I did just want to remind everybody one more time, if you have any questions that we didn't go over or maybe you're just now joining us, please put those in the comment section and we will pull a couple of those out right now. You guys ready? 
Ready? Okay. Let's see what we have here. Garrett Griffith has a question. He says, do you require that CDL drivers have experience? If they do not have experience, does McLean offer a training program or reimbursement? Good question, Garrett. That is an excellent question. And uh, we do have opportunity for individuals that uh, may not have experience. Uh, we have a McLean Academy that we uh, use from a training uh, standpoint. It's a very, uh, I think it's an excellent program. Uh, and we use that program to really try and build a bench, build our staff, and it gives a, an individual that may not have the experience initially to gain that experience as they're going through the process. McLean Academy. That is so cool. I love that. All right, Garrett, I think that answered your question. Thank you for that. Thanks, Kevin, for going over that for us. Let's see what else we have. We talked about re special requirements. So that was a question from Anita. We covered that. Um, let's see, Donna Mullins has a question. Hey, Donna, she says, how do McLean shifts run? What are the shifts? Okay, well, was there a particular one? Well, if I'm looking at uh, the position for hiring for, so nighttime receiving clerk, that may that's going to be third shift. So what that would look like start time, either 10 p.m., 12 a.m., that could run from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And for the cycle counter position, that is also a third shift position. And uh, something that changed with that is we're, we're making, we made that a four-day a week uh position. So the start time is going to look like 8.30 p.m. till 6.30 a.m. And for the warehouse selectors, it could be different depending where in the warehouse we have a dry side and a cold side. So start time with that is going to be 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. And that could be a 10 hour shift also four or five days a week. Awesome. Then, Kevin, did you want to talk about what the driving shifts may look like? Yeah, and, and customer service rep, uh, it's it's a daytime operation, and that starts at 8 a.m. 8 to 5 is generally that schedule. And then from a driver perspective, uh, we would generally dispatch routes uh, 10 p.m., from anywhere from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., uh, with the goal being completed uh, by 10, 30, 11, 11 o'clock a.m. the next morning. So that's typically the, the, what the driver shifts would be. And... Uh, and, and really, uh, I think those are some excellent opportunities for us. Absolutely. Thanks for covering that, fellas. Great question, Donna. Thank you. Dubonna Dawkins has a question. Let's see here. Are you guys second chance friendly for the customer service positions? We look at each uh individual in each situation uh, when we talk about second chance friendly uh we're open to to those opportunities uh, and i think the good thing that we're trying to do is how do we connect uh with our community and how do we make sure we've got opportunities uh for as many people as we can uh each one is different and we take a look at each of those and, and try to make the best decisions that we can but we are uh, open to second chance rental for sure Wonderful. So it's about a case by case scenario. Thanks, Dubana, for that question. Awesome. We at the Kentucky Career Center understand how important it is to give our customers a second chance and give them that uh, that chance at a better life and better employment. So we appreciate that from you guys. All right, I don't see any other questions that have rolled in. Now, that's not to say that later, if somebody views this video, um, that they might have a question and we'll get to that. And you guys will have your lovely faces on our Facebook page until the end of time. So, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Did you guys have anything else you wanted to add before we conclude here today? Yeah, I'd like to close out by saying we're, we're excited about this opportunity. I think we have uh, a great, uh, we're a great company to be a part of. Uh, we have uh, the ability to provide 
upward mobility. We do a lot of promoting from within. I think that's very important for us. But we just want folks to know that there's times where you want to go out and look for a job or you may want to look for a career. And we want to make sure that we give you an option uh, for a career and, and to be with a company that you can grow with uh, and, and just really enjoy because culture to us is a big, big thing. And we put a lot of emphasis on that. So come join the team. We're excited for you. And uh, I think it'd be a good opportunity. Absolutely. Thank you, Kevin. What about you, Joe? Did you have anything to add? I don't really have anything to add other than thank you. Thanks for having us today. Uh, I look forward to receiving more applications and, and meeting any candidates that would be interested. i uh, love to talk about the opportunities here at McLean. Yes. Thank you guys so much again for joining us, um, for being so passionate. You know, I talk with employers every week and it's just so refreshing to have uh, somebody that's so passionate and it re resonates within you guys. So I really appreciate that. And like I said, if there's any other questions that happen to come across the table here as the week goes on, I will get with you all. Make sure we get those questions answered. And we hope to garner 100 applicants for you guys out of this video. So I think the top views in the video that we've had is like 2.3K. So we'll work on sharing this out and seeing if we can beat that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Facebook land, goodbye to you. I'll see you all next Thursday at 9.30 a.m. with another employer. And don't forget to tune in to Garrett's Facebook Lives on Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Haley. Bye.